Thank you, Leanne. Now, most people start reading about self-help or self-improvement in adulthood as they try to juggle their desire to build a career, become a better person, and find a good work-life balance. However, our youth face similar challenges while still at school. So a boy from Johannesburg has put pen to paper and became a young achiever by writing a self-development book for young people. Talk to the youth and the older folks and get both perspectives. The key concept here is that there are always three sides to the same coin. While most 15-year-olds are engrossed in social media, smartphones and schoolwork, Ndando Maguela published his first book called The Dynamic Kid, Nine Keys to Unlock Your Future. My book is about basically nine keys to unlock your future. It talks about different subjects like purpose, how do you find your purpose, talents, what talents do you have and how do they resonate to what you want to do with your life. It's really around that and it helps people to figure out key aspects about themselves. There's some things in there like money making, how to make good choices with your money because money is an important part of life, even if it's not the most important thing. And the book focuses on different, the different skills, the different things you need to be able to become that dynamic kid that's within you. What motivated me to write the book was to empower adults and teenagers to live the best life they can live and also to live out their dreams and become the better person they can be to rekindle that dynamic kid that's within all of us. Some of the challenges I faced when finishing the book was making sure that the message came out right. Editing took, took a long time, it was a very tedious process, just making sure that the message was refined so that adults and teenagers could relate to it. Ndando saw an opportunity to encourage self-development among his peers and spent two years working on his self-published book. The novel is about reaching up to your full potential. It inspires um, young innovators to think about where they want to be in life, you know, and then he just gives us tips about who you are and what you really want to do in the future. It's a great book for people that want to find themselves, people that need to know how to set goals for themselves and how they want to achieve them. It's basically an inspirational book and teaches you how to be an innovator. I think it's very good for the youth to be expressing themselves through their writing um, because the history of South Africa is often one of silence and marginalizing the youth and it is very, very important for us to hear now what they have to say. Although the content in the book is all Ndando's original ideas, the grade 10 learner refined them through extensive research and by attending business seminars. A lot of the information in the book is things I went through myself and things I do in order to become a better person. So it will help them to do the same and also to find their talent, whatever they want to do with their lives and be able to grow that and become the person that they want to be in their lives. Personally for me, I don't believe that age is a factor when it comes to writing good books. I believe it's just the state of mind. If you want to write a book that's powerful, yet you are young, it doesn't matter. You can do it. And if you want to write a good book, whatever age you are, write that good book. To other aspiring authors, I would say never give up because it does take time, it does take effort, but when you put that time and effort together, you will release something that the world will want to read and that people will love to relate to. Ndando is the living embodiment of the very advice he gives to other young people and proves that his thinking on talent, belief and purpose is relevant and powerful.